Hi everyone, I am here at the Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. Layla, I haven't got a chance to message yet my phone. I'm having a lot of trouble with my phone. I've been having to record on Sherm's phone and my needs charged and it stopped recording and everything's just been going crazy. My tablet, I don't know what's going on with it. It kept going crazy last night. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if something's wrong going at my sister's or if the, the thing was just going crazy last night or what's going on. I don't know, but um, anyways, I seen part of your message last night about the coloring books, about the cow picture. I said that because I'm, I'm definitely going to call her, we're definitely going to call her in those books. And I will show them online when we get the ones collared. I just said that about the cow picture because I wouldn't have time to collar that one because I wanted to give that book away the next day to somebody. Because the stories in it is so good. I love those All Creatures books because they're so, so good, the stories in them, that I wanted to give it away the next day. So I wouldn't have time to collar that picture because the, the ones with the little lines take, take a lot longer. And I wanted to give that one away. But oh yes. We're going to definitely call her in them. And I will show them online when we get them done. They have not arrived yet. And I will let you know as soon as they arrive. So please don't worry about that. Yes. Yes. We will call her them. I just wanted to give that book away the next day. Because I love those books so much. The stories in them are, are so good. Okay, let's see here. Today we're going to read. Sherm's in there eating and taking his medicine, so he's not going to follow along with us today. Today we're going to be reading Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 through 17. Psalm chapter 9, verses 13 through 20. And Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. We'll have a little bit less of Jesus, a lot less of Jesus' words today. But still, Jesus' words mixed in today. I'll tell you when Jesus' words start and stop. So let's go ahead and begin with Matthew. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. These are Jesus' words. Jesus said, I am willing. Stop Jesus' words. He said in Jesus' words, be clean. Stop Jesus' words. Immediately he was clean, cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, now these are Jesus' words again, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priests, and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. In Jesus' words. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Jesus, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, Jesus' words, shall I come and heal him? In Jesus' words, the centurion replied, Lord, I, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one go, and he goes, and that one come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed, and said to those following him, Jesus' words, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, 
Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, but the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. In Jesus' words, then Jesus said to the centurion, Jesus' words, go, let it be done just as you believed it would. In Jesus' words, and his servant was healed at that moment. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began to wait on him. When evening came, many who were demon-possessed were brought to him, and he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all brought to him. And he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. All right, and that is where we are stopping with Matthew today. And now we are going to continue on with Psalm 9 from yesterday with verses 13 through 20. I believe that will be ending Psalm 9. It's a Psalm of David, of course. Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet have caught the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead. All the nations that forget God, but God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord, do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. Amen. Amen. And I believe that's where we're ending Psalm 9 with verses 13 through 20. A lot of times they forget they are only mortal. And now we are going to end today's Bible reading with Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Wisdom bestows well-being. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Amen. That is so true. Amen. Amen. Always remember that, guys. Always remember that. Trust in the Lord. Believe in him. Follow him, and he will make your path straight. Okay. That was our Bible reading today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Hope you guys are having a good day, and I hope you guys have a good weekend. I still don't know what's going on. Last night was a crazy night. The last few nights, we have, both of us, have not been able to get any sleep at all. And that's what's even taking our medicine that usually, you know, makes us very tired. Last night was crazy. My tablet kept going off ringing. I don't know. And Cindy said there's no cars at my sister's house now. 
So I don't know if something happened down there. And she said the police stopped at her house today and was looking for somebody up there around my sister's house. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, I don't know. Weird stuff's happening. My phone just stopped, just stopped working, stopped recording and everything. My tablet's going weird. I haven't been able to message anybody. I'm hoping nobody's got mad at me because I haven't been able to message them. I'm afraid somebody's going to get mad at me and you know, take me off their page because I haven't been able to message yet, think I just, you know, stopped being their friend or something, which is not true. I hope they have more faith in me than that. Let's see, what was the question? Oh, the question, homework question for last night was, who in the Bible wore clothing made of camel hair and ate locusts and wild honey? And the answer you should have came up with was John the Baptist. John the Baptist. All right. Okay, and the homework question for tonight is, you can find this in the New Testament. Which follower of Jesus was a tax collector before becoming Jesus' disciple? I'll give you a hint. You might think of the book we're reading right now. They're loud up there, aren't they? Sure. Yeah. He usually never has company. The neighbors up there are like super loud. We can hear their whole conversation. Okay, so let's mark that one. All right, so let me get our prayer request out. Didn't he have another name? Who? The tax collector? Yeah. can't say his name, but I'd give the answer away. But didn't he have another name besides the one he's got now? What his name changed? Not that I know of. There could have been two different ones. There could have been two different ones, unless I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Or is there two different ones? You can watch the video. What well, I'm thinking of? I have the video. I got a video on it. You can watch it. What I'm thinking of? Wasn't his name, uh, Levi? Not, I got a video you can watch. in those DVDs we have. 
It's really good DVD. It's really good. <sighs> but who really knows, you know? I know, who really knows? Okay, um... Let's see here. Please pray for the family and friends of Stephanie Holstein. Please pray for Jim Mitchell, Garnet Boyer, Randy Post and Barb Post, and Melody Stanley. Don't know what's going on down there. Please pray for April and Linda Thacker, Sammy and Paco. Um, please pray for Lonnie Dole's Jr. and family. Please pray for Jimmy Myers, Abby Myers and Rhonda Karshner, Sherman Crabtree, Layla and her son Emil, Michelle Watkins, Judy Thompson, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Dora Carper, and I believe that is it. I thought there was somebody else, but... I guess that's it. Okay, guys. That is it for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you would like to subscribe, it should be down there somewhere in the left-hand corner. And if you'd like to watch another random video, it should be up there somewhere. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless. <laughs>